Hello guys, I'm back with a video which has quite a, a strange topic for this channel, but I think it might be of interest for some of you. Corona pandemic has bent me into the home office. The only problem was I didn't have a room for home office, except this room here where I also record my YouTube videos. Um, the problem is I don't have any heating installed here. And what isn't a problem in June or July seems to be a big problem at the beginning of November, December and January because even when only filming for 10 minutes after that my, my hands are so freezing cold that I can't feel my fingers any longer. So I had to search for a solution to get it warm in here and the first thing was to, to install, the first thing that came to my mind was to install an electrical heating and a radiator which warms up the air in this room so that it's cozy warm here. Um, the problem is I don't like these, these things, they, in most cases they really look ugly. So um, th there was one thing that came across my way when searching for, for electronic heating and it was an infrared heating panel. Great thing I thought, uh, I can mount it to a wall or I can mount it um, to the ceiling so it, it's not in the way, no one will notice it that much and it's only heating both areas of the room um, which are in reach of that panel. So I don't have to warm up a whole room while only sitting in a very small area of that room. So this should save energy. And so I went and ordered an infrared heating panel. Before going into detail, you need to know what my room is made of. This room is 24 square meters long and uh, it has three outer walls. The first one with the windows uh, is made, up, is made uh, of stone up to this height and uh, then there is an uh, area where the windows are. It's uh, wood panels on the inside, hard isolation and then slate plates on the outside. This is the weakest wall uh, when it comes to losing energy in this room. Uh, we have one wall here a uh, double layer stone isolated in between, a good wall. And we have the same in the back of the room, which makes me at the moment feel like in an airplane. Cool stuff. So, and this room is isolated two layer stone wall uh, to the living room. Um, uh, this whole room was a terrace before and was then uh, made up to be a, um, a recreational zone with the windows and the wooden, wooden things. Uh, in Germany we call it Wintergarten, I don't, I don't know how you call it in English. Wintergarten, it's, it's, um, it's a mix between inside and outside, Germans. Well, before even thinking about infrared panels, uh, I used this nice piece of equipment here. It's a masterpiece of design, uh, standard electro heating, uh, 2000 watts, and uh, I used this. It works, it makes the room warm, but the problem is when I start working at 8 o'clock and the room is heated at uh, half past 9, so I'm freezing for uh, one and a half hours at least, because it takes some time to heat up the whole room. and if you think on the energy side, then it's completely stupid to use this because I'm just sitting and working on six square, uh, square meters and uh, this thing heats up the whole room. Nonsense. So I thought why don't opt for the fancy heating alternative infrared panel. Well, this one is not so nice to look at. Uh, infrared panels um, are not caught by the eye so easy. Did you, did you notice this one? This is a 1000 watt infrared panel and I thought, cool, it's not hitting my eye. Uh, it's, it's quite nice, it's white uh, in front of the white background, nice thing. Why shouldn't I mount it to the ceiling so it only warms up my workspace and uh, my surface, my skin? The nice thing is, um, if I switch on an infrared panel, according to the marketing material, the warmth should be there in an instant and I don't have to wait for anything to, to heat up. At least in a very short time you should be able to feel this, uh, this, this heating effect. So I tried that. I invested 170 euros on Amazon to get this infrared panel. 1000 watt, 
I think it's more the budget line entry class of infrared panels. So I'm only speaking about this kind of product, not, not the very expensive ones for thousands of euros. There might be different products and better products. Okay. I will hang it to the ceiling. I waited for the effect. I noticed it was getting slightly warmer, but I was still freezing. Okay, I thought, maybe it's not the right, the right place to mount such, such a heating system as uh, warm air always dissolves upwards, okay? But anyway, the, the rays of this um, heating should arrive at my desk somehow. I thought, okay, um, put it here, right beside me. And finally, when I switched it on, I felt a warm feeling on my left side, exactly up to here. It's cozy warm here. Sometimes it almost gets too warm here because I'm, I'm sitting really, uh, really close to it, um, but I'm still freezing here and I would still need to wear a jacket. It, somehow this, this, this wasn't so nice. Now, I have to admit, um, the effectiveness of such a heating depends on the materials mounted in the room. So I went and put, uh, put this heating um, behind me or to the other side to have a mix of materials to where the, the, the heating rays are emitted to and nothing changed. I was still freezing uh, on, on one side. Those manufacturers, they are praising this model um, for, for heating up and reaching distances, distances of 5 to 10 meters under laboratory conditions. Here in my room, I don't feel any effect if I'm not very close to this panel. I was not impressed by this product and to be honest, I'm still using my old ugly uh, electro heater. There is, no, there is no advantage of 1000 watt, which I don't feel, uh, to 600 watt for keeping the, the, the temperature level uh, and, and having an actual effect. So for controlling this infrared panel, um, I thought it made sense to use a thermostat for that. The thermostat does the following, it checks the room temperature, uh, the is temperature, and the should be temperature. And if there's a difference from those two, then it powers on the heating system. Um, I didn't want the, the infrared panel to be delivering 1000 watts of energy in a constant if, if it was already warm at my desk. The problem is, if I mount, for example, this, this thermostat here, it, it doesn't feel that this um, heating is powered on because the infrared rays are only emitted in my direction. They don't hit that thermostat over here. So the thermostat, even if this is burning full power, the thermostat thinks that it's too cold in this room because this heating does not heat up the room itself. It just heats up the surfaces. It's difficult to control uh, when this heating should be switched on or off. And this is the moment where everything related to energy efficiency, which was promised uh, with this product, doesn't work anymore. Because even if I'm totally warm, sweating here, being grilled like a chicken on, on a barbecue, no thermostat or, or intelligent socket uh, would, would, would check that it's so warm here. You can hardly control the emissions of this system. You can uh, power it on or power it off. Try it, maybe you have better effects at home. I will um, sell it on, on eBay or Craigslist or so. I, I should have known this, uh, that there are problems when reading the uh, comments on Amazon. There were people who said it doesn't work at all and then there were people who were completely satisfied with it, oversatisfied, best system ever. I, I would give zero stars for that heating system, um, if I could. Maybe minus one, because I had to unwrap it and put it there and notice it doesn't work. Maybe this differs from location to location. Um, write me in the comments if it works at your house or what you are using. I will get a normal heating, a normal hot water heating in the next summer. So from then on I will get rid of all electronic heatings because it's too expensive, at least here in Germany. Yeah. If, if you liked this video and it, give you, it gave you an impression of this heating system infrared panels, uh, then give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Normally I'm doing other videos, for example for photography, smart home, 
IT, computers, anything, anything like this. Go like the video, subscribe to my channel, or don't. I don't want to force you in any direction. You're, you're a free human being. I don't want to tell you what you have to do. So, um, see you.